So as you can see, I have died to a person. And this is how a talk this is how toxicity is born. So when you're a toxic player, um, this is your typical loadout. So um, so you, obviously you don't have that mask because you don't have the skill to get it. But what you want to do, you want to put you want to make yourself as small as possible just for the sole purpose of um, like, you know, just so you don't get hit by bullets because um, it changes your hitbox as well. Uh, so obviously you want to take advantage of that. And um, hair, I mean, usually you'd equip all the VIP items. Like most toxic players would have VIP or maybe and also Dread Pirate. So they'd equip those to just show that they have Robux, even though nobody really cares. Faces, I, I really don't know. I mean, usually faces, they have some weird face, like, I mean, this. Yeah, something like that. And beards or mustaches, um, well, I guess that goes with mustaches, uh, or, uh, you know, beards. You want you just want to make sure that they see that like ugly yeah. smile you have, and then um, for the um, what is it called outfits? I mean, it doesn't really matter. Oh, and also you want to make sure that you have that um, this. Wait, I think it's this one. No, it's this one. You want to make sure you have this run. It infuriates people. I don't know why all toxic players use this specific run. Some people say it makes them jump higher. Um, or at least according to one of my friends. Uh, you know what? Kind of does. Um, so yeah, so this person apparently killed me. So you want you want you want them to one v one you, right? So in a one v one, there are two outcomes. One is you die, and one is that you win. And I'll show you how to act accordingly. So in this case, but and also you want to make sure that you spam your shotgun as much as possible. Um, so what you do. Um, you spam easy and then you um, press C a bunch of times. Uh, I pressed V accidentally. And yeah, you want to teabag them. You want to infuriate them. And also, you want to say, um, you want to use a series of like lol and maybe XD because that also infuriates them. And yeah, that's pretty much how you do it. Um, you just, so really, in reality, I am mad that, he, that this guy killed me. Uh, and like, I'm just mad that my aim was bad and I have to use a shotgun to do it. But just to make myself feel better about myself, I have to blame it on the other person. So I would have to say that the other person is mad. Um, if, if that's how you know, you know, that's how, that's just how it works, all right? Um, so we got a sheriff here. And also as a toxic player, you always, like, I mean, always want to target mayors, sheriffs, hitmen, and, you know, all those, all those sort of people who have roles, maybe doctors as well. Even though, even if they don't do anything, you just want to, um, you just want to target them as much as possible. Um, and also in reality, um, most toxic players will probably have the mule shotgun, uh, mainly because they, like, they're too poor to grind. Like, they just don't do the work by themselves. They usually just, um, their income mainly relies on stealing from other players and taking, like, $80.00. Um, but this is what you do. So, do you me real quick? So this person earlier really infuriated me, right? Oh, but he lassoed me. So obviously, if you if they win, you want to blame it on something. So in this case, I'm blaming it on lag. And usually in um, Bronze City, there are a lot of people. Um, and yes, and hacks. In Bronze City, there are usually a lot of people um, surrounded here like just in general and even if they're not blocking you you also want to blame blame the fact that um you lost due to people blocking you oh and also uh, make sure you do this so like you want to spin as around as much as possible because um, most toxic players think that it will make them fly like a helicopter but really it just makes them look stupid and um you want to you want to do the mouse flick as much as possible like i mean something like that i can't do it very well but um yeah something like that all right, so now I'm going to deal him again. I want to show you another thing. Oh, I lost again. Well, you know what that means. So you obviously want to blame it on lag all the time. Yeah, so as you can see, even though I didn't do anything, I just spam easy. And also, um, some toxic players, they like to go as far as um, 
breaking fat i mean chat filter i don't know why um it's just they they think it makes them look cool you know like they would say like they'd say curse words and like they'd replace every vowel with an x pretty much so it goes through chat filter yeah but they think it makes them look cool but honestly it just makes them look like they're 11 years old but anyways um let's see so i'm gonna deal with this person or actually you know what i'm gonna do All right, so I got him. So I'm going to rob him. And then I'm going to kill him, right? Now, what you want to do, so... So you think this will, like... Like, you know, you rob him of his coin first. Or, um... Okay, yeah, you also want a horse spam. There's also one of two things you can do with the coin first. One, you can just discard it. And two, you can just, um... You can just go and run and sell it, which is what I'm doing. Discarding it will make them... I mean, it won't really infuriate them, but if you're going to sell it and they know you're going to sell it, um, it's going to make them want to chase you, and that's what you want, all right? So you just want, like, you want them to beg for their life, pretty much, or for, like, the sake of them living off their money, but in reality, it's $80, and it can buy you exactly nothing in this game, unless the free items, which you don't even need. Um, so yeah, look, I have sold it, and now you want to say this. So you want to you want to brag that you sold their purse like even though it's just eighty dollars and you can't do anything with it i mean you just want to brag it because it's their money and you stole it so like i mean you want them to go like oh no what will i ever do without my eighty dollars you know so like this person is oh oh shoot well okay i'm actually lagging but that's fine Now look at this. Oh, and also, um, you want to sometimes. So you, there's two things you can do. You can dance on their body, or you can, um, you can also do um, clapping. So like, and when you clap, you want to make sure you teabag, like just like this. Perfect example. Now, as you can see, oh. So obviously, I didn't kill him, but I get all the credit. All me. That, that, dude, that was all me, as you can tell. So yeah, this is pretty much a toxic person right here. Um, so you got the run, you're a midget, um, you have that stupid face. Um, oh, and also, every time, every time, like, I mean, every time you end up killing someone like this. Oh, no, I forgot to do this, sorry. There we go. You always want to kill their horse. Do you, you know why? Because it makes them mad, so like when they respawn, they can't respawn it. So like when the player respawns, um, they can't like respawn. As you can see, I'm being arrested. Um, so I'm just going to say luck. Like this is just pure luck. I mean, this requires no skill. So obviously, I am mad that I'm being arrested. Um, so I'm just going to say you're mad, XD. And I'm just going to say easy. Yeah, and also, um, just like um, this person saying, you want to say trash. Like, you want to make them mad. Because, like, you know, you're heated. You are very heated right now. Um, as you can, probably the whole server could tell that you're doing that. Because you're just mad that you got killed. So, you want to make yourself feel better. So, obviously, you just want to uh, claim that someone else is mad, you know. And when you look at that, I mean, I said again. Um, so, I'm just going to say, you're mad, XD. Um, there's a bit of chat lag, like, literally, so, um, but I said it, that's, that's all I can say. So, obviously, 20 seconds of my life isn't, like, it's just, you know, it's a, it's such a waste, like, I mean, what will I ever do without these 20 seconds out killing people? But, um, now I'm gonna do something, so I'm gonna go on a mass murdering spree, and I wanna show you what you do when you become a menace, alright? So... Um, okay, let's find some people to kill. Uh, he's a killer, so he won't give me a bounty. Uh, so you say, scared. Oh, so this person killed me. You're mad. 
See, just like that, just like that. Now, what you want to do do is uh, one v one me, hit. Friendly fire. Uh, wait, who's in the door? I don't know. Anyways. Wait, now I'm gonna go on a mass murdering spree. So, um, just like this. And you always wanna use a shotgun. You don't, like, you don't wanna use, um, rifles or anything. And also, like, I don't know, I think this is VIP or veteran shotgun. I'm not entirely sure what it is. Um, oh, okay. But yeah, um, it's like this VIP shotgun or something. Uh, you always, like, if you have that, you always wanna use it. And also, like this person's doing, um, whenever you're outnumbered, you always want to get on your horse and begin ramming like so. But in this case, I'm not really outnumbered. It's more of a 1v1. But yeah. Oh yeah, and also, enjoy your respawn timer, kid. And as you can see, I died to one person. You're just mad, cause you're bad. I'm gonna go all the way back. And also, I don't know how many toxic players actually have this horse. Um, it really depends. And also what toxic players love to do is like, they like to brag their auction items. Like for example, um, they will always like, they take out like every single, um, well, not all toxic players have auction items, but to those who actually do, they will um, they will rub it in your face pretty much. So, for example, um, they will probably have like a Patterson Navy, um, and then uh, I don't know one of those other <laughs> I forgot the name of them. And also, if they have a Spitfire, they will like they're the type of people who will sit um, in Bronze City and just shoot the thing in the sky because um, the Spitfire has such like um, such a futuristic sound so it's really easy to tell and also see you want to kill every horse all right that's that's just the key so they can't get to points a to b let's see what this person wants to do um see look he's he's scared right he's in protection so you just want to say here okay so he's um and also you want to fan fire as well that's also key oh sorry i forgot to do the spins Spin. Now see what happens if I get arrested as a menace, alright? Like this is this is just um This is just key right here, alright? You wanna leave, you wanna leave. So every time you get arrested as a menace, you wanna leave, alright? Like that's just key right there. You always want to leave because two reasons. So one, you have a chance of not going to menace camp. So then you can join back and say Haha, ha, I don't have to mine coal and all that. And also, it gives them a chance that um, it gives them your dead bounty. And obviously, you don't want to give them your life bounty. As you can see, I am not in Menace Camp because I left. And also, I got my bounty removed. Well, that was interesting. So yeah, I got out of Menace Camp just like that. Uh, it's mainly because you're a coward. Like most toxic players um, are cowards and you know, they just, they mostly rely off of shotguns because they can't actually aim. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. And also every time, because also one cool thing about the shotgun is that um, it makes them it makes them fly into the air. So it, it infuriates them. So like, See, look, it flings them just like that. Like, it makes them mad. Like, it, it, it just looks so annoying on their end, like when they die to a player. And yeah, you want that as much as possible. But um, yeah, other than that, that's pretty much all the scenarios as a toxic player. Um, please don't be this guy, like actually. Um, but yeah, again, he'd be wearing like a dread pirate outfit or something, VIP outfit. 
Um, I forgot. Uh, what did I forget? Oh, yeah, definitely. Okay, so, um, I want... Hold on, just arrest him real quick. So, every time... So, every time. So, you see how you arrest them, right? So, you want them to get... You want... So, they want the live bounty, right? But no, you want them to get the dead bounty. So, in reality... I mean, he's in my faction, so I can't really kill him. But... If he was, um... If he wasn't in my faction, I would actually, like, kill him. Like, every single arrest. So, if... If he gets someone with like a twenty thousand dollar bounty, um, like I mean, I'll just kill him to infuriate him so he can get a lower bounty. If that makes sense. Um, like I don't even know why. Like it sends them in jail for the same amount of time, obviously. But, um, yeah, you just want them. You just don't want them to get the money. You know, you just don't want anyone to be happy. Um, and I'm pretty much that concludes it. And um, yeah. You're mad. You're just mad. XD. But anyways, um, that pretty much sums up um, every toxic player in the World West. Um, you know, just just please don't be this guy. Um, so yeah, thank you all for watching, and I'll probably make another video on how to how to prevent um, people from being toxic. Um, what's the on? But yeah, I'll probably also make a video on how to avoid toxic people. Oh yeah, they do have neon here. Um, so like they'd have um, let's see, they'd have like bright green hair, pretty much. And yes, mule shotgun or the or the shotgun, same thing. Um, yeah, other than that, pretty much that's um, yeah, just like that. And pretty much that sums it up right there. Um. You're just mad. You're just mad. You you are mad. Cause bad. Um. Okay, so yeah, I will make a video um how to prevent toxic players or just how to, you know, deal with them. So I will see you in the next video. See ya.